guys, so one of my favorite commenters at the bottom, her name is Joy. She requested that I do a little comparison video between the Chanel Perle Fantasies highlighter and Meteorites. Made me find a dupe for it. And I've actually looked through my stash quite a bit and I'm going to show you what I found. Um, I don't think I have an exact dupe for it, but I will show you what I can and give you a good idea. That way if you didn't get to pick this beautiful highlighter up, maybe you have something in your stash that's close to it. So this is what it looks like in case you are not aware. This is the highlighter from the Chanel um, Pearl Collection 2016. And we are going to try to do the white side. Now both colors together look like this. But I have closer dupes to the white side, so we're going to do that. But I'll swatch both of them for you just so you can see what they look like. White side's on the bottom. And swatch together, it's at the top. The pink part, now the pink part of this highlighter is not as pigmented as the white is. I'm not quite sure. It's more, maybe more densely packed because this is a very densely packed highlighter. You have to use a dense brush with this highlighter. I mean, you have to like scrub it in there and just don't be afraid to hurt it. It's there to make you beautiful and I know the design is beautiful, but hey, I've used mine quite a few times and the de design is still there. It's not as pretty, but hey, it makes you pretty. So don't be afraid to get in there digging. All right, so as I was saying, all right, so we are going to find a comparison. This is Hourglass's Incandescent Strobe Light. Now, these are very subtle. Um, to, me, to me, this highlighter looks more subtle than highlighters I'm used to. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to swatch it right under there. It's, this is actually more pink. It's definitely more pink tone. So, But that's a comparison at the bottom. Is hourglass and you had a Chanel over that not a dupe so we are gonna set you aside because you are not a dupe all right girl on meteorites and Chanel fantasies I've got to open this up this is awesome I really need to remember to open these babies up before I do a video. <laughs> I think I'm getting there. Yes, open for me, baby. Open for me. Here we go. I love meteorites, guys. I, I just can't say it enough. Mm. It smells so good. I love meteorites. Yeah, this is the older version of the, um, look at the shimmers already. This is the older version of the Meteorites, the permanent range. And I'm going to swatch this the best I can for you. We've got a lot of product there. And then we've got this. So we got the Chanel highlighter on the top and then the Meteorites at the bottom. Little bit of little bit of glitter to the meteorites, but it's basically just a setting powder. So there's no comparison to that. God, I, I love the way these smell, guys. I love I love this violet smell so much. And actually I love it so much. I have I have to tell you how much I love it. I'll show you how much I love it at the end of the video. But love, love meteorites. And then we're gonna take these, which are limited edition. Because sometimes the limited edition ones are more shimmery than the permanent ones. So we're going to take this baby. Set the poof right up there. And you know what? I'm probably going, I don't want to fuck a swatch with the poof better than I can with my finger. We shall see. Get in there, baby. Get in there. Hmm.
looking very subtle here. The Chanel highlighter on the bottom, meteorites right above it. The limited edition meteorites, uh, Christmas meteorites, were definitely more shimmery than the uh, permanent ones, which are right above that. But still not a dupe for a Chanel highlighter. Still not a dupe. So beautiful, though. So beautiful. Mm. Okay. So that is also not a dupe. We are going to take this. See if I can close it. That's somewhat close. Alright, so we're going to set those aside, and I have one more idea. Becca Pearl. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up if I can. And I'm going to swatch Becca Pearl for you because to me, in my stash, Becca Pearl is probably the closest thing I have in comparison to this. So you have the Chanel highlighter and then you have Becca Pearl. Look how similar. Okay, and we are going to swatch that up here. Up here, Becca Pearl is at the top, Chanel highlighter on the bottom. Let's get a little bit more of that Chanel highlighter going on. There we go. Very similar. The Becca Pearl is a little bit more shimmery though. But I bet if you use a light hand with the Becca Pearl, which is on top, you can get the same effect as a, as a Chanel on the bottom. And you won't have to dig into it so hard. Now, look, I have loved this so hard. Look, I mean, there's like shimmer powder all over, all over the um, compact. <laughs> I am in love with this highlighter. So, I'm telling you, if you did not get your hands on the Chanel um, Pearl of Fantasies highlighter, I would recommend looking in the Becca Pearl, which is actually permanent now, and they have a full size. So, that's the winner of my little swatch-a-thon. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well, swatch-a-thon for the um, dupe of the Chanel highlighter. And guys, I have a surprise for you. I really want to show you a couple of things that are new to me. Definitely not new, but they're new to me. I'm going to set this baby back up here. Set you back up there. Ta-da! Look what I found! <laughs> She came in the mail. I'm so happy. This is the Meteorites perfume. This was um back made back in 2000, I believe, and this continued. And it's so hard to find. I love this Meteorite smell. I love the smell of Meteorites so much. But I got lucky, and someone actually found someone that was selling theirs. So. I found it. It's so pretty. I like the bottle. It's not that fancy, but hey, I really like the bottle. Meteorites. Cool. I'm so happy I got that. And speaking of meteorites, I also got this beautiful baby. This is the Meteorites um, Home Fragrance by Guerlain. And as I understand, it was only exclusive to those that, um, like, VIP Guerlain customers. And actually, this came in the mail with that. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was that's awesome. Uh, it was actually a nice little surprise that my friend did for me. I'm so happy. But this smell, this actually, when I smelled these together... When I smell these together, this actually smells more like the meteorites than this does, in my opinion. This, when you first spray it, has more of um, 
more of the iris coming out. And maybe to dry down smells more like the meteorites after it dries down, but this smells like meteorites immediately when you spray it. It's so beautiful. And I just love all the Guerlain fragrances I have. In love with Guerlain fragrances. But this is a beautiful bottle. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. Alright guys, so that's my little video. Uh, let me see, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it yet. Because it was supposed to be a swatch video and I just kind of stuck this in there with it. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you are having a good day and I will see you later. Bye.